Welcome, what is up? Thank you for tuning back into the Chaos Layer. Of course, I'm Chris Chaos here with my final May Young Classic thoughts. Uh, and spoilers for those of you that haven't seen the show. By the way, go watch it and then come back and watch this because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. So, anybody that hasn't seen episodes 5 through 8, go watch it. I'll wait. Okay, I don't have that time. So, just go watch it and then come back here later. Uh, episode 5. Abby Lath versus Rachel Evans. Uh, Abby gets the the win here. Uh, Piper over uh, Serena. Mercedes Martinez over Princea uh, Suhey. And then Carrie Sane versus Carrie Sane versus uh, Bianca Belair. Carrie gets the win. Bianca full heel, full heel. We hadn't seen a lot of this. Just little bits and pieces of heelish things throughout this tournament up to this point. That. Was a full heel, and I loved it. I love she she needs to really get a lot of props for that because it was really good. Episode six, still in the second round. Tony Storm beats Lacey Evans. Shayna Baszler beats Mia Yim. Dakota Kai beats Rhea Ripley in a fantastic match, which for me was match of the round of round two. And then Candice LeRae beats uh, Nicole Savoy. The uh, episode 7, uh, which was round 3, uh, Mercedes Martinez beats Abby Lath, Shannon Baszler beats Candice LeRae, Tony Storm beats uh, Piper Nevin, and, and Carrie Sane beats Dakota Kai. The uh, Nevin Storm, excuse me, and the, the Sane Kai matches were, to me, the best matches uh, of that show. If I had to pick, I would say that the the Piper Nevin Tony Storm match was was the best match. Uh, as a fan, just being a, just watching it as a fan, I, I I can't wait to see if anything happens with these two women. And something may have already happened that I don't know about that I I'm, I will be able to now go and check and see if any contracts were offered and really really dig in uh, doing research on these to see if anybody got offered anything. Uh, now that the tournament is over. And then uh, episode 8 was round 4. The uh, semifinals, you had Shayna Baszler beat Mercedes Martinez and uh, Carrie Sane beat Tony Storm. So your final is Carrie Sane versus Shayna Baszler. Now, this is something I wrote during Raw that I want to get out. So bear with me. In the Mayan Classic, you had Abby Lath, Candice LeRae, and Mercedes Martinez all on one side of the bracket, and that side of the bracket, you give it to Shayna Baszler. Bullshit. Just my opinion is bullshit. Uh, although Shayna did a lot better in her match with uh, Mercedes than she did her other two matches, it's still bullshit because she is not nearly as experienced, hasn't paid as nearly as many dues, as the th just the three that I mentioned, and I have to call bullshit when I see it. You all know that. It's something that I have been accustomed to doing for the last however long I've been doing videos here on YouTube, or just basically being me on Twitter. So, there it is. Uh, this is supposed to be a tournament that people celebrate and acknowledge as the absolute pinnacle of women's professional wrestling, and it still is. But it has an asterisk now because Shayna winning is a product, in my opinion, of Ronda Rousey. Because of WWE's trying to tempt and tease and bring Ronda Rousey into the fold because they want her name power. That's what that is. They want If Ronda Rousey signs a deal with the WWE, I mean, the WWE has this way of bringing people in. The WWE just signed Casey Catanzaro of American Ninja Warrior fame, which is it's fine. As long as Casey comes in, and I'm a fan of Casey, by the way, personally, just because of her, her story and the way that she, uh, the athlete that she is. But if she doesn't come in to the Performance Center and doesn't work and, and gets stuff handed to her, not to say that this was just completely handed to Shayna, but comparing her work in the business to Abby Lath, the former Kimberly, Candice LeRae, Miss Candice wrestling herself. And Mercedes Martinez. Shayna's. Like. Basically teacher. I mean the way that they made this out to be. Look. 
I don't. I don't know why my shirt keeps doing that. Maybe I need to go iron this. The the term is going to have a big asterisk on it forever now because somebody is in the finals that shouldn't be. That really shouldn't be. And I'm pointing my finger at Stephanie McMahon on this. I am pointing, and she won't care. I could point it at Triple H, and he won't give a fuck either. And they shouldn't. But as for me, when I see bullshit, I'm going to have to call it. I'm going to have to call you on it, and I'm going to call you on it. Uh, just the way that that Stephanie was raising Shayna's hand and pointing at her saying, Yeah, this, she didn't do that for Carrie when she won. It was just like, yeah, Carrie won. There's Carrie. She did that professionally, like Stephanie McMahon, the person, the businesswoman, is supposed to do it. When Shayna won, it, it come off more as Stephanie McMahon, the character. The pro wrestling character. Not, not the businesswoman. The character. This isn't Raw and this isn't SmackDown. Or a pay-per-view. Pay-per-view. I don't like it. And so, I'm just voicing my opinion and my my disapproval of this. Now, those other three, they could get signed, go on, have mega success, stardom, fame, and everything in WWE. But, Shayna still is in a place that she shouldn't be, in my opinion. Uh... Enough on that. I have to give props to Jessica Carr, a.k.a. Kennedy Brink, uh, for the, the refing job that she did during the tournament. The art of being a good referee is very complicated. It takes three people in a one-on-one -on -one singles match. It takes three people to, to make a match. It takes contestant A, contestant B, and the referee. And the referee's job is to stay back like, look over there. Uh, hi, I'm here, but look over there. No, 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 look, look over there. That's what you need to focus on. I'm just kind of sitting here, just you know, whatever. Look over there, and that's what she did. She was, she was not like trying to steal any attention from from the girls. She when she needed to make a a, a account, she was there. When she was checking on a submission, she was there. Uh, it was just good, uh, great job. I thought. Uh, all around from her, uh, so enough props, King, and I hope she gets she gets signed. Uh, if not as a wrestler, which I would still love to see her wrestle for the WWE, then let her be a referee for a while. Remember, Teddy Long did this twice. He was a referee in the NWA and became a manager, the manager of Doom, amongst others, and then went to WWE, started over as a referee, and then became a manager, then became general manager, and he's in the Hall of Flame. Uh, Hall of Fame now, player. So, let that sink in for just a minute. Just because you're starting out as a referee doesn't mean anything. By the way, Danny Davis started out as a referee and became a wrestler and then a uh, trainer and slash promoter. So there you go. Uh, maybe he'll be in the Hall of Fame one day. Uh, Dakota Kai, Piper Nevin, Lacey Evans, Bianca Belair... Uh, Notables to me, the Belair match versus Kerry Saint, all deserve a lot of props for their work in this tournament. Uh, Tony Storm, by the way, and I love Tessa Blanchard. I will always love Tessa, and I know that Tessa would be okay with me saying this. Tony Storm has stole my heart. I watched countless stuff on her before the tournament started. And that may have played a factor in the way I feel. Tony Storm deserves a contract. She deserves to be in the WWE. Hands down. Uh, and if she doesn't get a contract, I'm probably just going to absolutely lose my shit. Uh, so, the announcing... A lot of people made a big deal about the announcing. You could justify it, but you can't blame Lita. I love JR, and I, I have for years, just like everybody else. But I think it's just not his time anymore. 
And I think uh, Mauro Ronaldo would have been a better, uh, better person to do this, uh, to fill this slot. Lita, this is her first time announcing. And this is kind of a big deal with a lot of eyes really glued and really focused on what's happening. I know mine had, my, my mind has thought nothing else almost than the Mae Young Classic for two months, basically. Just thinking, well, what's going to happen? Who's going to win? Who, how, how, how's the matches look? Well, how did Jessica Carr do? What what's Deuce doing in the backstage? How how is she with interviews? Which we still never saw. Although we, some of you that have kept up with social media might have saw a couple of those interviews. WWE did release those, uh, some of them online, but they weren't part of the actual shows. You you, you can't don't yell at Jr. too much. Don't be disrespectful for one. Respectfully, if you're going to call out JR, here's what you say. Hey, JR, I just want to say I'm I'm a big fan, have been for years. You know, I'm sorry that I didn't like your work uh, or something. Try to be try to be sincere about it because JR will will take that and go, "Okay. All right, I didn't do it. You you if you come to JR, he's the type of person that if you come to him and say, it wasn't my favorite, and here's why, and you give him legitimate reasons, he'll go, okay, what do I need to change? What do I need to go back to that I was? Because I used to be really good at this. Uh, it may have just been the timing with Lita, because he didn't have anything to really work off of, which... You could blame that on Lita if you want to be a dickhead. But like I said, this is the first time Lita's ever done this, so she's learning on the job, basically. I mean, no matter what kind of prep work or anything she did before this, she's still learning on the job. She's also learning from Jim Ross, which is no Rudy Poo, <laughs> just to be honest with you. So that was, those were my thoughts. The Mayan Classic basically is over. Although I still want to see those tag matches that haven't been released. I want to see those. Re release those next Monday. Before the finale. The finale is on Tuesday in Vegas uh, on the WWE Network. Live, live, live. So, until then, I have nothing left further to say about the tournament. I will see you guys in a week. Deuces and Chaos is out.